Russian doctors have sent an open letter to Putin demanding that former municipal deputy of Moscow Krasnoselsky district Alexei Gorinov is provided with medical care. He is serving a sentence under an article of spreading so-called fakes about the Russian army. This appeal has 241 signatures. Alexei's lawyers informed us that he had asked for medical assistance, but no treatment and diagnostic measures were carried out by the staff of medical institutions of the Federal Penitentiary Service. According to the information available to us, Penal Colony No. 2 of the Federal Penitentiary Service for the Vladimir region does not have a license to carry out medical activities. From the appeal of Russian doctors to Putin. Garinov has a chronic lung disease and his condition is sharply deteriorating, says the politician's lawyer. But despite his serious illness, Garinov is forced to shovel snow every day. His medication has been taken away from him and medical care is denied. For example, you can remember when Sergei Magnitsky was in the pretrial detention center. He was healthy, but after some time he began to have health problems. He was not given medical care or was not given care properly. And as a result, being in such torture conditions, he died. Alexei Navalny, sentenced to 19 years, is suffering from severe stomach pains and is not receiving treatment, his associates say. They have not known where the politician is for a week now. He has not been connected via video link to court hearings several times, allegedly because of electricity problems. His lawyer was also not allowed in. And on December 11, 2023, the human rights activist was informed that Navalny was no longer registered in panel colony number no. 6 in the Vladimir region. His health is in a bad state, we don't rule out that he was poisoned, not in huge doses as before, but in small doses, so that he doesn't die immediately, but agonize this, and so that his health deteriorates. Artist Sasha Skochilenka, who was sentenced to seven years in prison for spreading so-called fakes about the Russian army, suffers from a number of serious chronic diseases. Her condition has deteriorated in the pretrial detention center, and the staff refuses to give Skochilenka the necessary medication. At the end of November 2023, more than 400 doctors signed an open letter to Putin. They believe that the artist's health condition does not allow her to serve her sentence in the colony. According to reports about about mass early release of people who committed serious crimes such as rape and murder, the real imprisonment of a person whose case has no corpus delicti and no victim seems particularly unfair. We demand from you as a guarantor of the Constitution the immediate release of Sasha Skochilenka from the appeal of Russian doctors to Putin. Human rights project OVD Info considers the prosecution of 3,424 people by the Russian authorities to be politically motivated. 1,011 Russians are now in prison and another 229 are under investigation. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Bil, UH.